Hello humans and non-humans alike and could ever apply to you and today we are back on Senran Kagura Burst Renewal. After many betrayals, so on and so forth, we are now using going to Hibari, I'm guessing. Yep, yeah, definitely Hibari. About three years ago, the city's famous sightseeing attraction, the Castle Keep Ruins, was closed in the name of preserving cultural heritage. Now here I am, looking up at it, my thoughts a blur. The heavy just stronghold is in the most obvious place in the city. No one would ever think real shinobi could still be here today, but here they are, hiding in plain sight. Ever since I transferred to Hebijo, Haruka has been really nice, like a whole different person. She giggles at me. Friends? I did agree to transfer here. Still, I could never think of Haruka or the others as friends. Yeah, that's why she just called me. That brings out a whole lot of very uncomfortable feelings. The school accepted me without a second thought, but to actually be treated as one of them, it's shocking. I'd figured the Hebuja students were all a bunch of loners, too cool for friends. My thoughts are in a sickening world as Haruka gives me a tour. There are four different areas inside. The first is Northgate Square. Gravel's been laid down throughout the area, which is so big that a five lane, 100 meter track <laughs> could fit inside. <laughs> She stomps on the gravel underfoot. I hear a faint voice groaning beneath us. She bellows at the ground and stomps several more times. Oh! Shit. I gaze at the gravel laid on the ground. Now that I look, I see about 20 subtle little lumps here and there. Jeez. As she says that, she passes under the north gate. I have to rush to keep up with her. It opens up to the main hall area, with the garden and a passage separated by trees. We can see the castle keep directly ahead, but a high wall stands in the way. We have to go around to the west gate to actually reach it. There's a long bridge in the south gate area. It extends from far to the south all the way to the castle keep. As we look out over the bridge, I notice bubbles popping in the water. There's a bamboo pipe swaying down there. A shinobi student must be practicing the water escape technique. Haruka flings a kunai. Blood blows in the water. The wounded student comes floating up. Yes, he did. 
In your profession, you have to be brutal with your training. It's probably why Heavy Joe students are just better than Hanzo students in general. The student crawls to shore and then bows before Haruka. As I follow Haruka, I sense someone watching me. I look around, but there's no one there. It's probably Mira. I was just going, hey, how can I use you to torture Yagyu today? Just my imagination, I guess. I try to keep a close eye on my surroundings as I chase after her. Inside, it looks even more luxurious than when it was a tourist spot. There are a ton of Japanese-style rooms with elegant sliding screens. It's hard to tell which way is a dead end and which way will get you where you need to go. It must be structured to confuse them to haters. I noticed the lecture is taking place in several rooms. Each class has a lot of students. At Hanzo, we only ever had five at a time. Everyone seems so focused. I can't help but stop and stare. It's the same here. The heavy jar are taught just like we are. It makes sense when you think about it. I've just never given it any thought before. The heavy jar students are the enemy. Cold-blooded minions of evil, not like us. At least, that's how I always thought of them. None of that is really true. The heavy jar and Hanzo academies aren't that different. They have friends, they trust, they study really hard, they live just like any other shinobi students. For me, that's a shock. I actually question everything I believed in up until now. Before I know it, we've reached the top floor. I snap back to reality and see two shinobi chatting with each other. Without paying me any mind, they keep on chatting away. Don't tell her. I don't get what they're talking about, but they keep at it as if Arka and I aren't here. As Arka requests, I stick my head out the window. I can see an incredible view of the whole town. I see a bunch of shinobi students training below the castle keep. One group is marching while another is working on practical skills. Heavy Joe has a lot more students in Hanzo Academy, but otherwise it does seem basically the same. That's when it hits me. The only difference between Heavy Joe and Hanzo Academy is who's employing us. At Shinobi, our business is the same. Come to think of it, it's kind of silly for our two schools to be fighting each other in the first place. What is a good Shinobi? What is an evil shinobi? These little questions are swelling up inside of me. A little while later, Heavy Joe's other two elites arrive on the top floor with us, one after the other. Homura and the girl who shot Yagyu. I can't let that go, but it was my fault it happened. I stopped pondering that again, Haruka talks to the other girls. The girl who shot Yagyu slowly approaches me. She holds up a kunai. I answer in a Russian when I chance it back on me. Two who were talking before Yomi and Akage come over. Yomi looks me over head to toe. She snorts in a ladylike way. The Gage's remark has set her off, and I don't understand why. I timidly call to Omi, who's facing away from me. Her expression changes completely. You know, he starts rambling about Breen Sprout's eyes shining. Kake gives the vaguest hint of a smile. Yomi Sprout talk grows more and more passionate. Homura hops up and hides the super secret Ninja Scroll in the ceiling, and we all exit the upper level room. That could be my chance. If I can get a moment alone, I can take back the scroll. That's why I transferred you to begin with. I don't care if everyone at Hans already thinks I'm a traitor. I'll stop at nothing to get the super secret ninja art scroll back. If I don't, I can never show my face huh? to them again. 
Yeah, now they're just doing things on purpose to lure you. Don't be stupid. I'll be in there alone. This could be it. I jog back up to the top floor. Oh, you dumbass. She really is naive. How the hell did she get into this fucking profession? Damn, maybe she should stay in Heavyville, you know, just to get her naivete beaten out of her. It's clearly obvious what they're doing. I stare up at the ceiling, but she can't seem to see it, which is... It's just how do you expect to do covert operations if you're this naive? I'm not gonna say stupid, because she's probably smart, okay? You could be smart and naive at the same time. If you, if you just use stupid and naive interchangeably, you end up with a smart stupid. I could grab it in one jump. The question is, what then? How would I get it back to Hanzo Academy without being discovered? I don't have time for this, so I'll get switched if I take them on. I'll get the control first and work out the rest afterwards. I spin around to meet Haruka's ice stare. Ah, oh, you stupid girl. ほら。Hanzo Academy definitely coddles their students a bit too much. I mean, don't get me wrong, you know, I get it. They're teenage girls and everything, you want to have a normal life, yada yada yada, you don't want the parents to beat the shit out of you. At the same time, you're going into a profession where you need to keep secrets, and every day could mean death. Exposure means death. Death means death. Not just your own death, but your family and friends. Anyone who's even associated with you can easily become a target. Damn it! I was just fighting you earlier. I know already. Going at you straight ahead is bad. Why do I keep doing it? Yeah, I'm not stupid enough to do that. It's not today. Hey, it's my rap. Rabbit kick. Rabbit punch. No. Yeah, shit. Now my outfit. Maybe I should change into a heavy. Oh, I should change into a heavy to school uniform. Eh, I don't really feel like doing that though. Then I'd have to. Eh, I could just set it up with favorites, I guess. Yeah, but then I'd have to switch out the characters and the diorama thing to change the outfits, and... Mm, mm, mm. I don't know. You know, let's just leave it. That's a little too much for me. That's something you can do in your own playthrough! So you should get the game! I need to save the burst attack so we can strip her down. <laughs> That's the new goal! New goal! Every fight! Someone getting stripped!
It's important to have your priorities in order. That's it. Come on, don't you wanna stay here? Stay very close to me! And get defeated! Damn! Okay, completely destroyed her outfit in one attack. Damn. Okay, come on, that one didn't even hit me. That's ki that one was unfair. Okay, trying to... Push her into a corner really does not help me out at all. <laughs> My only hope is that there's a healing item. Yes! Defeat! Considering how strict most of these shinobi families are, I doubt Hibari, Hibari over here is going to be allowed back home. I'm pretty sure these people, these just families in general, just have no qualms about abandoning their children. But, oh my god, she literally just says butt bump. So close! So close to victory! Yes! Objective completed! <laughs> we did it! Completely defeated! <laughs> oh, it's way too heavy for stripping down high scores. <laughs> よくわかったわね。どうして自分でたの?忍びを目指す仲間でどう知って感じなの私は超秘伝忍法書を取り返すのは無理。ここはおとなしく引いておきなさい。Oh my god. Her desire dog just a desire for affection. Yeah, of course. Damn, this game's hard compared to I keep comparing it to Valkyrie, guys. <laughs> I suppose the guy have to the comparison to. New friends, Hanzo Arc. Oh man. Nobody tell Yaku shall be pissed. Heavy Joe instruction. So Abari's training school is perhaps deployed to gather intelligence, but is she ready for that? Kyria. She is not. Undercover work is really hard. 
It's not just a matter of infiltrating and being good at lying. It's a matter of being able to compartmentalize part of yourself so that you don't just go along with the flow and become one of them. Wait, there was no secret scrolls in this, right? I don't think there were any. I'm just gonna go with there weren't any. Eliminate all evil shinobi! I will show you a dance closed in shadow. I rely on the advantages of the shinobi transformation. I need to preserve it because it's an automatic health restore. Uh, but it's cool to transform and everything! Okay, so, Homer was betrayed by everyone, Mirai was probably seen as an unnecessary child and thus ignored by her own family, and then left. Hikage, I don't know about Hikage. Yomi is clearly probably starving to death in a street corner somewhere, despising the rich. And just, and just joined up because for food and shit, and because she can vent her anger on the rich people. Probably her life probably became really terrible after some rich people did some, you know, rich people things, like, uh, make some type of fake forged contract, letting them buy up land or some shit like that. Now, Haruka is about the only one I can't figure out just yet. And Hikage, well, that could be anything. Being emotionally dead, she could have been born with it, could have... Well, actually, no, she can laugh and amuse... She can do, like, amuse chuckles. So it's probably something she was... wasn't born with. Probably had to and exist in a state where she had to kill to survive on a regular basis. It was also kept away from people, which stunted her emotional development. Basically, they're not bad people! <laughs> they're just in these circumstances because, you know, the good guys won't take them. Kind of sad when you think about it. Oh well. Maybe they will get lucky and they will all become friends by the end of this. Chances are that are slim to none, but uh, we'll give it a shot. You know, she doesn't even have to retrieve the scroll herself. The fact that they still don't know where the school is means just leaving by itself would probably get you back. Seriously, if you ran away, gave them what- told them where the school was, you'd come back with all the students and shit, and probably teachers too. Because I doubt the good shinobi will just let evil shinobi school rule over here. It would probably be just enough for them not to, you know, banish you forever. Yeah, 
それにしてもはるかは遅いな何をしているんだ心配なの当たり前だ仲間なんだから仲間ちょっと修行は中断だ私ははるかの様子を見てくるヘビジョも仲間をすごく大事にしている本当にひばりたちと同じなんだ。We actually got an A in something! It's been so long! Damn, we didn't even do a shinobi transformation for that one. Well, yeah, that is pretty much all the time we have for this episode. So, thank you for watching, and remember to like, comment, subscribe if you like, and when I come subscribe. And remember to follow me on Twitter for channel updates, pictures of dogs and cats, and whatever else I decide to put up there. So goodbye, humans and non-humans alike, and good ever applies to you. It is gonna be a while before we buy all of this stuff, huh? <laughs>